welcome my dear students uh, in this session we are going for the one more device and that particular device is the measurement of flow <music> but this session i am going for the usage of the particular device and this device is called for the measurement of closed channel okay so we have finished about the closed channel measurements now we are entering into the open channel measurements okay for measuring the measurement of flow okay for open channel measurements okay if i am going for the measurement of the liquid in open channel measurements we are going for the very important method and that particular method is wires and fumes my dear students okay wires and fumes are the devices that are used for the measurement of the flow in open channel measurements open channel measurements okay now we are going to study about these open channel measurements okay now as i told you that wires and fumes are commonly okay used devices for open channel measurements in that first we are going to study the first function is the wires my dear students okay so the wire what is a wire generally okay the first one we are going to study about the wires w a i r s and this is the physical structure of these particular wire okay wires and fumes as i told you that uh, that are used for the open channel measurements already i told you and uh, the purpose of these particular okay wires and fumes for the open channel measurements uh, for the long distance measurement of uh, liquid flow so first we are going to study about the wire okay what is wire a wire is essentially a dam with a notch opening okay a wire is essentially a dam this is a notch okay this one itself i am going to call it as a notch opening my dear students okay this one itself is a notch my dear students okay at the top through which the liquid flows okay it is at the top in which the liquid is going to be flowing so these notches are different types okay so and these notch plays a vital role in which okay the measurement of the liquid that is flowing so the measurement of the liquid via notches okay and the different sizes of the notches are available okay and these notches are available in different style that is sizes my dear students okay these are available in different sizes my dear students okay now we are going to study about the one by one notch okay in a detail manner okay as i told you the notch okay what is notch okay here the notches are different types okay this one is called what type of notch it is this notch is called rectangular notch my dear students okay this one itself is a rectangular notch and this one is called v notch and this final one is called trapezoidal notch my dear students okay trapezoidal notch okay now we are going to study one by one notches okay so okay here what happens uh, the rate of flow of the liquid on this particular notches is taking place uh, let l is the the length of the notch and h is the height of the notch okay here <coughs> there is no length because it is uh, here it is uh, it is meeting point so l equal to 0 and height is there okay and uh, here trapezoidal trapezoidal means it is a combination of v plus uh, rectangular then only you are going to get uh, the trapezium you are going to get what uh, the trapezium my dear students okay now these notches okay the length itself is there and height is there and it is making certain right, right angle and that particular angle is here theta by 2 so it is making certain angles okay the v notch and uh, these particular that is a trapezoidal notch is making certain angles my dear students these are the various types of the notches how many types of notches are there my dear students three types of notches one is a rectangular notch second one is v notch and third one is a trapezoidal notch my dear students okay this one itself is the trapezoidal notch okay now here <coughs> what are the formulas for those particular notches okay the discharge the discharge through the rectangular notch very very important the formulas are very very important over here at the gate level so that formula is the discharge is q q equal to 2 by 3 2 by 3 cd means coefficient of discharge l is the length and under square root of 2g into h power 1.5 this is the, the discharge through rectangular notch and the formula is pretty important my dear students this formula 
formula is very very important uh, over here similarly if i am going to take it here generally always the coefficient of discharge here varies usually the coefficient of discharge how much my dear students less than or equal to 0.7 my dear students okay see uh, the rectangular notch is among all the notches we are going to use it uh, most commonly because the construction is very easy okay and construction commonly used notch uh, and why means it is simply and ease of construction and uh, it gives accurate results okay next the, the discharge through v notch okay if i am going for the discharge through v notch uh, q equal to 8 by 15 cd into 2 under square root of 2 g into h 2.5 in tan theta by 2 this is a v notch okay this is a rectangular notch okay here also the always the typical values of cd here it is varying the coefficient of discharge okay for this particular v notch is going to be varying from 0.58 to 0.7 my dear students okay this is one more important parameter you need to remember my dear students okay next we are going for the okay the that is uh, the trapezoidal notch i already told you that the trapezoidal notch is a combination of both the notches because uh, a rectangular and uh, plus uh, a v notch which gives rise to which it is giving rise to what it is gives rise to trapezium my dear students okay it gives rise to the trapezoidal notch in the trapezoidal structure will be like this my dear students so in order to get the equation for the the what is trapezoidal notch we need to add the combination of the rectangular and that is so the volume flow rate with respect to the trapezoidal notch is equal to the volume flow rate with respect to the rectangular notch plus the volume flow rate through with respect to the v notch my dear students okay and that particular formula is given by this one okay my dear students okay and uh, i told you that uh, the application of these particular notches that will be used uh, generally for the measurement of various types of few liters per minute uh, and to the millions of the liters per day okay but it can be used because this is open channel liquid okay the liquid will be in terms of uh, liters per day millions of liters not the liters my dear students okay next we are going for the fumes okay what are fumes it is also an open channel whose sides are in, arranged simply to form a throat okay here see here this will be like this again it is forming like a throat here okay like this here also it will be like this again this is like this it is forming this section is called the throat section my dear students okay this section is a throat section followed by long expansion here this this expansion is what here this expansion itself is a long expansion here the expansion itself itself is we are going to call it as a long expansion okay here the expansion itself which is going to be shown over here is a very short expansion so here the expansions we are going to take it uh, will be long here also we are going to take it the long expansions uh, my dear students okay here also the same long expansions you are going to get uh, okay like this uh, we are going to getting the also the long expansion the long expansion like that uh, you are getting my dear students okay and one more important thing itself is that uh, see this is also called this flume is also called venturi flume the name is also called what uh, the mean the name itself we are going to call it as a venturi flume my dear students okay here the venturi flume if i am going to take it uh, it is a uh, arranged to form the throat this one is the throat section my dear students okay and here i am going to use the stilling wells uh, and stilling wells are very very important that are provided at the entrance and uh, at the throat location that i am going to show you here it is at the entrance location and at uh, the throat location i am going to provide what uh, i am going to provide uh, the stilling wells okay the stilling uh, wells okay the stilling wells i am going to be provided my dear students okay stilling wells are going to be provided over there okay now if i am going for that particular one only okay see here that particular okay stilling wells i have provided suppose the volume flow rate of the liquid at this one is v1 this is at the, where where student this is at the entrance location this is at the entrance location this is a height is that is nothing but h1 okay here the volume of the liquid itself is v2 the height itself is nothing but here 
attach it to my dear students okay so the stilling wheels are provided at the entrance location at the throat locations here b1 and b2 okay here okay now ultimately what i am going to tell you itself is that the uh, so discharge in case of venturi flow the actual discharge is equal to qa equal to c into a2 by 1 plus a2 by a1 whole square here the this part is the area a2 and this part is the area a1 my dear students okay where if i am going to take it uh, the total parameter okay see here root 2 into gh see this particular value see leave this this part okay this part is called m my dear student this part is called m okay where c is what c is the venturi flow flow coefficient value 0.952 1 okay and m is the mark coefficient my dear students this is a formula to calculate the actual discharge my dear students okay so the maximum flow occurs when the height the h2 equal to this height what are the height that you are having this particular students here the height itself here what are the height that is height this height h2 equal to 2 by 3 times of h my dear students okay so that's the reason this one is called uh, that is uh, maximum flow occurs uh, when this will be two third of the total height uh, then only the maximum flow of the liquid occurs uh, here my dear students okay now with that we are completed uh, over here okay next uh, i am going for the numerical okay this numerical i am going to explain in a different uh, manner my dear students okay